Hello friends, it's ADHD Dude back with another video and today I will be talking about my bullet journal again and I want to apologize in advance if you hear a lot of background noise. It's really windy today and they still have not turned off the heat in our building so we have the window open and I had to prop open the door slightly to keep that from jiggling. So if you hear wind sounds or any noise, just ignore it. It's nothing terrible. So. We're gonna get into it, and last time that we looked at my bullet journal, we left off on apartment math, and so that is where I'm going to start this video. So from the last video, there was apartment math where I'm going to try to convince my parents to let me live in an apartment my junior year. It's worth an attempt, you know? Got some more writing excerpts, and as you can see, this one is the same color as this, which means that these are the same story continued. So each one is its own individual color. What I'm going to do when I run out of colors to use. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out when I get there. And here's just an angry message that I was writing because I was mad at somebody from my past. This one is more writing excerpts as you can see. Different colors for each one. You can see all these on my writing blog so if you want to check that out I'll link it in the description but they're all just really short stories. This was a page of, of excerpts to add to a story I was writing for class. I did not end up using any of these. I used the gist of some of them, some I just like, completely ignored. So it's all a matter of perspective and what you want once you actually get to writing it. This one is, I made a survey for trans people asking about like gender identity, what hormones they were on, how long they've been on them, if they regret it, favorite and least favorite changes to kind of show my parents. Yeah, I had like 253 responses to that, and that was fun to compile, let me tell you. When I eventually got to this page, I didn't know what to do with it, so I put a Serena Williams quote on it. It says, a champion is not defined by their wins, but how they can recover when they fall. I liked it. It was an inspirational quote. I was a fan. This page is just for testing out different ways of doing titles and fake calligraphy so I can get better at that, because I'm trying to make my bullet journal more like fancy aesthetic I wish that were me because I want to be goals for once in my life. So this page is 14 writing prompts that I took from the book 500 writing prompts that was published by Piccadilly USA Incorporated. This one was my writing for the first prompt which you can see on my blog. Again, link in the description. More writing excerpts that I need to upload. And then I didn't do a title page for this which I kind of wish that I did. but can't go back and change the past. So this is kind of like my YouTube social media-esque section where I'm tracking my subscribers, my subscriber count by fives, and I got down 230 before I like ran out of room. So once I hit 230, eventually, someday, maybe, I'll have to start a new page for this, but... Eh, oh well, yeah, I didn't see. So, this page is the video schedule and plans. As you can see, I'm trying to be more consistent with new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and a new vlog on Saturdays. New videos are also possibly on Sundays and Fridays if I have time. And a possible new vlog would be on Wednesdays. And then once my channel gets bigger and I feel like I can actually do a live stream and have people participate, it'll be on Wednesdays. But I will let you guys know when it gets to that point. And as you guys know, if you've seen my other videos, this page used to be further back, somewhere up in here, I'm not sure where, but I migrated here to be in the same section to make it smaller, more compact, and more easily able to be read. And then I'm also tracking my channel analytics each month. As you can see, I'm able to track through August of 2020 because that was how much space I had. But as you can see, I'm tracking the watch time, the views, the average view duration, the average views per viewer, the impression click-through rate, and the amount of gained subscribers. I'm not tracking subscribers lost because I don't honestly care that much. And then here's where I'm planning videos. As you can see, today was originally supposed to be remembering to eat. But I did not want to do that. Instead, I want to do a bullet journal video, so I'm going to have to white that out and change it and then move that to probably next week at the soonest. So, as you can see, I left some open pages for video plans. I'll be planning them out at the beginning of each week. And then here are my channel goals. One of them is to reach 100 subscribers. Start earning revenue even if it's just like a hundred dollars every year or two. It is something and I'll be proud of myself. 
I want to get 50 plus views on a video, which I think I might have already gotten, but I'll have to check. I'm not counting the intro because honestly, that's not really a video. Get five plus comments on one video. If one of you tries spamming comments to get me to get this goal, that will not count. I will tell you that now. I want to learn to make better thumbnails, and I want to also be able to do better descriptions and titles. And one thing I thought earlier that I need to add to this page is to work on being able to edit better so that I can be more engaging. And then for this one, if you guys follow my Tumblr, you know I made an Instagram for ADHD Dude, and this one's my follower tracker account, which I think I have six right now, so I should need to color in the five bubble when I get the chance. This one, if you don't know what that logo is, the Fitbit app logo, it didn't go well. But I'm tracking my steps, calories, and etc. that for each day. So I'm tracking my steps, my resting heart rate, how many floors I climbed, how many miles I walked, how many calories I burned, if it caught any exercise somehow, and that means was it charging that day so that I know whether or not I should be like, oh, why is this so low? Oh, it's on the charger. Like tonight I'll have to put it on the charger because I have work. And so that will obviously affect my numbers. And so this way it's no in advance kind of that it happened. Here's some date ideas that I came up with because I was bored. There's a sticky note where it just says me a bunch and it's, and it's for my pens are already used for writing excerpts so that I don't copy colors. And as you can see, this is more writing excerpts that I need to upload to my blog. This took forever. Writing 24 numbers a whole bunch of times. That was not a lot of fun, and as you can see, I've not been getting a lot of sleep. So this would be like, oh, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. I'm not going to mark it here, too, because that'll throw me off. It'd just be like more like, oh, Wednesday, after I woke up, when did I next go to sleep? So as you can see, I've not been getting enough sleep and it's a problem but I will get more sleep I promise because Saturday the dorms close at like 3 p.m. and I'm going home for spring break so I will get more sleep I promise this section I spent a lot of time on I think almost three hours on as you can see I'm again trying fancier titles and stuff this is writing and grammar tips help and more because I'm a writer obviously so it's stuff like oh the rules for using semicolons, how to use a colon, character types, so that I know more what I'm talking about during discussion for um, workshops, the types of conflict along with figurative language, conjunctions, which these ones are just listing the conjunctions and then this page is like how and when to use slash punctuate these, what cl a clause is, because I figured why the heck not Sentence structure of the simple compound complex and compound complex sentence types. The different types of pronouns. I did not know that there were this many, but there are so many. And there are the parts of speech because sometimes it's important. I'm not sure I wanted it. Don't judge me. How to use apostrophes comma rules which there are 13 that i found online from one website i don't know why i didn't write it at the bottom but it was some business website so i will go back and add it and this one's common grammatical mistakes like fewer versus less lie versus lay whose and whose and who and whom and affect versus effect which honestly i struggle with affect and effect and lie and lay because honestly it's just difficult and because i am a writer and i eventually you know want to get published and send in a manuscript to hopefully be accepted by a company, I decided to write out a manuscript format that I got from jerichowriters.com slash manuscript dash presentation so that I have information on the gist of what you should do. And I'll probably link this website also down below and any other website that ends up popping up because I think there's at least one or two more. So I will link those in the description so that you guys can check them out if you want to. This one was tips for writers, which I just pulled from a bunch of different websites that were like quotes from authors of what you should do. And I wrote down 12 of them because I liked these ones personally. There was no other criteria for it. I just liked these tips. And these are helpful websites that I will also link in the description. There's a thesaurus, a website where you just put in the word and it tells you rhymes for it. I think tip of my tongue is like the reverse dictionary. Where you type in, it's like, oh, that this is what the word means, but I can't think of what the word is, and it will tell you the word. 
if it can figure it out. So it's a pretty cool website. And then I also have a YouTube um, thing for an audio library for like ambient music to listen to to figure out like ambient sounds in writing because that can be really difficult if you're just trying to imagine what it would sound like. It's easier just to actually hear it. So that's why that's down. And this probably took the most time. I got this from spwickstrom.com slash said and it is over 300 words to use instead of said separated by emotion that it corresponds to. Now as my professors have said you know using said is not a bad thing but I like having the options that and I'm proud of this. It took me forever and I love it. Now I'll probably use some of these at some point. <laughs> And then as you can see, I'm trying to do like them fancy titles. And this is for me to be able to track when I'm writing because I need to write consistently. I should write every day. As you can see, I did not yesterday and I made this yesterday, but I also made it late at night. And so I did not really have time to, but I will hopefully end up writing at some point today where I'll put the date, how many words I wrote and what the heck it is that I wrote. And this one is also specific to a story that I'm writing, which I'm hoping to maybe be able to turn into a novel. Don't quote me on that. Actually, no, you can't, I don't care. But this is the page for the date, how many words I added in the total amount of words now, because for writing specific genres and for specific groups, you wanna have a specific amount of words. So this is just for me to be able to figure out what the heck I'm doing, honestly, cause I'm a hot mess. This page, as you can see, is incomplete. I was making it while eating this morning. I'm going to make a books read table to keep track of the books I read because one of the tips for writers is to read a lot and so I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to read more. This as you can see is a fairly incomplete title page other than saying ASL which is American Sign Language because there's just little bits about like oh how to sign like double letters. They're the ones that bounce that don't that move sideways. Ages stuff because we learned that today and I figured why not for questions like WH questions and yes-no questions and some grammar rules. This is not the entire website, but it was really long and I did not think it would fit across the bottom of this page. So that's the, basically the website we got it from, but it's just some simple grammar rules. And I'm only on page 145, but as you can see, I'm already planning my next bullet journal because I want it to have a better setup than this one because honestly this one's just a hot mess of a lot of different things going on. So that is it for this video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.